What's up? Welcome back to Carcino for Life, the channel that most of you guys have heard about of recent, and they call me the LeBron James bashing channel. <laughs> okay, um, I'll accept that if you accept that what I'm saying is the truth about your hero, your God, your labyrinth. Now, with all of this being said, let's get to the gist of why I'm here, like why we're talking. Adam Silver Slipper. Twinkle Toes. His evil plan that he hatched up. His storyline that he wrote up. He just saw it play on out. In front of the whole world. Well, Adam Silver Slipper, here we are. Me and you, face to face. Once again. And we got to go over it. Because your evil conspiracy has come to light yet again. Oh, man. For you guys who don't get it or those who do care, let's go to who Adam Silver really is. Okay? Before he was second in command to David Stern, he was eight years as president of, of or CEO of the NBA Entertainment Department. Now, he was, uh, I think he got an award here in Chicago at the law school here in Chicago. Um, you know, he was also a member of the council when he did foreign relations with the business council and the board of trustees, the Rockefeller Foundation, and the vice parents, he was the vice chairman of the, uh, Luskar Pancreatic Cancer Foundation. So, yeah, I think that was him. But before he had all these positions, he was NBA Chief of Staff, uh, Special Assistant to David Stern, meaning that this is the guy we're going to transition into taking the job. Now, he came in the league in 1992, Michael Jordan. That's right. Adam Silver Slipper has been with the NBA since 1992. And in case you're wondering, he still looked like a malnutrition <laughs> uh, cancer patient. Um... Adam Silver he inherited a golden era for basketball he saw the marketing boom come right in with Michael Jordan Michael Jordan boomed this league in the 90s by working with Dick Embersall, NBC, and watching how it flourished, to doing a cable deal with most of their games and their national television games going away. When the NBA contract was up for renegotiations, ABC came along, and so did ESPN. The entertainment department, what, what does that department do, you might say? The entertainment department, meaning that they come up with events, they come up with these sideshow NBA Cares, NBA 
you know, NBA watch, NBA, you know, we'll walk your dog, anything that gets on television, you know, we care, NBA, we care, you know, all of those things there to promote the league. That was his job. And they assumed he did a very good job because once LeBron James came in there, they create narratives. It's like a soap opera. They'll create a narrative that wasn't even there before and try to make it a storyline. For the NBA Finals, LeBron James playing against his old team and Pat Riley and his beef with the Los Angeles Lakers and his disdain for the Lakers for the way they treat... They create this. The whole storyline, LeBron James, 17 years in the league at 35. Could he still win a championship? It's like, really? Then you watch this play out the way it did, and it's like, oh, man. This is bad, you know? And I was like, man, the Clippers are a better team, but they've lost so much money, they can't help but to stick that guy in the NBA Finals. They have no choice. They have no choice but to stick them in the NBA Finals. They lost too much money. The NBA is a business. You got to understand. It's a business. And they, all their marketing dollars goes towards LeBron. They've been marketing him and milking that horse before he came to the league. So... When he came through and became NBA commissioner in 2014, for six years he's been in there, you saw the NBA rise to the top of the occasion, and it had nothing to do with Adam Silver. Right after this, uh, we all know the Clipper situation. Ballmer comes in, buys it from an astronomical amount of money that raises all the team's value up. So now they're like, yes. So they're paper rich, but not liquid rich. The problem with the league is what's always been the problem with the league. You're not promoting your talent. You're promoting individuality too much, and you're forgetting about team. And when you do that, you forget about the essence of the game. And to someone who's in entertainment and marketing, they don't care about the game. They don't know anything about it. All they know is how to market it. And that's what they're good at. That's their expertise. You know, a guy like Adam Silver is not supposed to be the commissioner. A guy like him is supposed to be, you know, a president and CEO of the entertainment division. It's not a guy that's going to, you got to know something about the game. You got to know it. So you could appreciate it enough not to try to screw it up. Not to say David Stern didn't try to make changes because they wanted to increase the scoring in the league because when Michael Jordan left, it was so abruptly, they didn't groom up the next talent. Shaq was supposed to be that, but he wasn't ready. He was too immature, they thought, to lead the way. So they used him to market the kids in Orlando, which was going to be their booming business, as you can see now, this Walt Disney Championship you see today. After this procedure was done and this decision was made, the problems start to come through the door. His friend, his buddying friendship with LeBron James. LeBron James and Adam Silver has worked together throughout the years as far as doing things for NBA Cares and working with Chris Paul, being the commissioner. And LeBron's always been on the board and talking with Adam Silver. So Adam loved that LeBron was game for everything and every idea that they ran across him. Plus, they're helping stick in this guy in the NBA Finals every year. You know, so 
David Stern would have never allowed LeBron James to continuously go to the NBA Finals as much as he did. That wasn't going to take him continuously go. It's time to move on. But no, that wasn't the case. LeBron leaves and goes back to Cleveland right as Adam Silver is taking over as commissioner of the NBA. In his first year, he goes right back to the NBA Finals in Cleveland. First year. Adam Silver paved the way for all of these trades and deals to be made and for Cleveland to be over the cap by over, what, they were a hundred some million over the cap. Now, the salary cap was made so that fairness could be in the league. But if you're over the cap, your, your team is pot paying, you know, you got to be penalized. A luxury tax, basically, for being over the cap limit. So they told the owner he just had to pay it. He's going to make enough money, so just pay the luxury tax and get the talent that LeBron wants. That's what happened. David Stern um, would have never allowed this to be manipulated to this point that you have right now. Silver Slipper didn't mind. So that's how all of these players were able to remain on a LeBron James team with all these salaries. You're like, how could they afford to have all these? Because the salary cap was over, but they were going to pay the penalty. So fairness was eliminated in the league. And it was all about LeBron. We got to keep sending LeBron. He's the greatest thing we have until he gets tired or is not, you know, at a position where we can't sell it. We have to keep pushing LeBron and no help from him and no reason at all for this guy, right? Nope for David Stern to do anything. Um, uh, Golden State becomes a dynasty. No help, no thanks to him. They built themselves up. They came up out of nowhere. Right? They got Steve Kerr as the coach. Steph Curry was growing into a superstar. Has an incredible year in 2015. The NBA gets a boom. Everybody's buying Warriors gear. Has nothing to do with Adam Silver. He didn't create that. He didn't market them. ESPN is picking up all the highlights. This kid, Steph Curry's hitting all these amazing shots. And Klay Thompson, he ain't that bad either. And they're winning games. But here comes LeBron and his Cavs. The ratings go through the roof. So much that the NBA does it three years in a row. No, naturally, you say, okay, we got to mix it up a little bit. Three years, that's enough. Not for Adam Silver Slipper. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's run it again. Four times. People want to see it. Golden State versus Cleveland. Steph Curry versus LeBron. Four times in a row. Let's keep doing it. Yeah. It's groovy, man. Groovy. So, now LeBron's going to leave Cleveland. Where he's going to go? The Lakers. I told you there was no other team involved. This was all organized to revitalize Los Angeles. No one likes Cleveland. No one likes to visit. They don't like to travel there for NBA games. And they definitely don't want to travel there for the NBA Finals. While well, all the big time people have to show up to this event. And they don't like traveling to Cleveland. They just don't. They just don't like Cleveland. It's like there's nothing to do in Cleveland. Why are we here? Now, 
that that's over with. Where can we put him? Los Angeles Lakers. And you market him as going to be the next face of the franchise to revitalize it. And you use Kobe Bryant as a driving force when nobody supported this guy. They didn't support his move there. They don't support him. Laker fans didn't want anything to do with him. Then Kobe's passing, tragically, the way it did. And an opportunistic Adam Silver Slipper. Now the Lakers are doing it for Kobe. Now Anthony Davis and LeBron, the mission has changed. We're winning this for Kobe. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's a trashy business tactic. But they did it. Meanwhile, let's look at what's really going down. All of these teams are losing money. That's right. That's why teams are up for sale. People are trying to sell their NBA teams. The Detroit Pistons were sold. The Atlanta, the Atlanta Hawks are going to be sold. The Sacramento Kings are fighting to just keep the team in Sacramento. What do you think is going to happen now? When these teams were solely driven on their audience base, that was their revenue. People actually buying tickets to come see the games because they're not on national television. They don't get a lot of national televised games. So, what's next? Hmm? What's next? On the menu. The league is hemorrhaging cash. But they do a new exclusive deal with ESPN. Right? Based on, based on the finals numbers that they did. With Golden State and the Lakers. And the new owners re-elect him unanimously. So he can keep his job based on the numbers that were inflated by Bomber. But the owners are now seeing that the players have more control as they're controlling trades and free agency. Free agency was supposed to be for the players. Trades, well, that's the owner's job. They could trade a player if they could legally trade him. Now they can't. Players like, look, if you trade me there, I'm leaving one of my contracts up. So I'm, I'm just letting them know if you trade me, that's what's going to happen. So now they're eliminating the no trade clause. So people want to tell teams where they want to be traded. And they want to have free agency too. So they, the owners get no control of their own players. Now, Adam Silver Slipper wastes his time trying to control narratives that he can't really have a grasp on or shouldn't have a grasp on. He wants to control the narrative of being called an owner. We shouldn't even call them owners because, you know, they're, they're not slaves or anything like that. We got to call them like governors or something. You know, because they're governing their teams. No, they bought it. They own it. They're owners of the team, not owners of the players. Like they own their lives, Adam Silver Slipper. Quit trying to use social justice as your marketing tool, you idiot. 
the word owners is just that. You own something. If you purchase something, it becomes yours. You own it. So it's no slave the word to it. You're trying to tie a social issue out of something that doesn't need to be. The name owners and the word owners is that's what they are. They own their team. That team, that name, that logo, whoever plays under it, you're playing for the owner of the team. Doesn't mean that they own you. Because you got a choice not to play. <laughs> Saying, look, I'm just not playing. If they own you, they can make you play. They can say, oh no, I own you. You're going to play or go to jail. No, he don't have to do that. He can walk right off the team and the team can cut him and they'll get someone else in his place. So no, Adam Silver Slipper, you don't get to do that. Now, the ratings were down 60% versus last year. Last year, the ratings were down and they were lowered, and people say, oh, that's because LeBron James is in the NBA Finals. Some parts of it, but a lot of it had something to do with the fact that they never marketed the Toronto Raptors. They never marketed uh, Jurassic Park. They never put any marketing behind it. So when they didn't make it, because they had every intentions, every intentions of somebody else being there instead of Golden State, so now Golden State and Kevin Durant is back going for a three-peat. And Kawhi Leonard and the uh, Raptors are in the NBA Finals. Now they got a big showdown to help out with their Canadian fans. Trying to really expand Toronto. Now, the NBA lost a lot of cash trying to make Vancouver a basketball city. They got out of that and got the team into Memphis. The New Orleans base was borderline bankrupt back in 2012, 2013. That's why they didn't let the Chris Paul trade go. The NBA actually owned the, um, well, they not the, they knocked the New Orleans Jazz as they should be. But anyway, what's they the Hornets? So anyway, New Orleans. The Pelicans, that's what they are now. Anyway, the Pelicans, which is actually the state bird. Anyway, the Pelicans, right? That team, with all the superstar talent they had, was borderline bankrupt. But they had all these superstar teams on there. And they're, they're barely breaking even every year. If that. A lot of teams like the Pistons are losing money. And now the ratings are going down. And people's like, it's because of the social justice. Well, the NBA is a team, just like many, that needed some fans, some type of revenue coming in. The NFL wasn't going to do that. Every team, you know, not going to have fans crap. They can do that. It's going to be partial fans somewhere. You know, people are not going to subscribe to that. The NBA, they just couldn't risk it. And now with all this flourishing talent, does Adam Silver know what to do with it? I doubt it. Because he doesn't understand the game of basketball. He only understands marketing and promotion. We're going to promote in India. We're going to make basketball tournaments, NBA tournaments, little mini tournaments. We're going to change it. This guy changed the All-Star game. The East and West, all the legacy the history of the East versus the West, that's all destroyed now. All destroyed. So we can have Team LeBron. 
versus Team Steph Curry. And Team whoever else. But we got to have Team LeBron. It's disgusting. It's just totally disgusting. But you co-sign it. You co-sign this behavior. And I'm done being an audience to the behavior. Yep. So only when, like, the Clippers, Brooklyn, they show up to play against the bomb from Akron, then, you know, I'll watch it. But other than that, it's like now it's been exposed. This finals exposed everything. Everything we said came true. They did it. They, they laid out a plan, a formula, and ran the formula train all the way down the track. Let's not forget YouTube. Our dear beloved YouTube. Oh, yes. YouTube. YouTube got involved and decided, hey, you know what would be a great idea? If we do this deal with YouTube, they're the growing sensation. You know how many people are on YouTube? All these million of followers. Now imagine if we could just show the games there. We could do this deal with YouTube. It's going to grow our fan base tremendously. Oh boy, Adam Silver Slipper. <laughs> you just don't get it. So you guys been wondering... Why my videos sometimes just stop? Why they don't do what they're supposed to do? And I have all this interference. It's mainly because the NBA and YouTube I have a partnership. And I don't fit the agenda. I'm going against the agenda. So you can't have a person that's going against the agenda actually making sense and talking about the situation at hand can't have that we gotta silence that guy and promote the guy that's going with our positives and going in our angles that's not gonna tell people what's really going on but give them our butterfly truth that we're feeding them Eat Jiffy Snacks. Then everybody, mmm, new video about Jiffy Snacks. <laughs> Man, they're healthy. They're good for you. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to do that with the little cheesy music in the back. No, can't do it. It's not my style. So anyway, don't forget to like this video. Hit that notification bell, select all, and we will get back to you directly. I got things to do. I'm quite sure y'all got things to do. Just wanted to kind of go over and let y'all know, you know, what y'all dealing with. With this Adam Silver Slipper. In case you guys didn't know. And yeah, LeBron lose chips all the time, baby.